Good morning. Once again, we are together as a family of Francis to celebrate this Holy Eucharist as a family. Today, we celebrate the Eucharist in commemoration of the Foundation Day of the Sisters of Charity, that is the congregation to which the sisters working in this Francis College belong to. We also have the International Men's Day and we pray for all men, especially those who are a, a part of our institution. Sisters of Charity of Saints Bartholomew Capitano and Vincenza Gerosa. That is what our congregation is called. And you can see the cutouts of these two saints along with our logo of the congregation. For more details, how exactly this happened, we have a short video presentation. Our Department of Mass Communication has put together this video and it will be presented to us.
Kindly rise for the entrance. Your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father,
protection in our weakness, to help us tread the path of salvation, mercifully grant that we honor, we who honor, the heavenly birthday of Blessed Vincenza and Bartholomew. May through her, their example, make our way to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading, a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 7 to 9. Is it not to share your food with the hungry, to bring into your house the homeless poor, to clothe the naked when you find them, and not to turn away from your own kin? Then will your light break forth like the dawn, and your wound will be quickly healed. Your righteousness will be your vanguard, and the glory of the Lord will be your real guard. Then you, will, then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your, the midst the yoke, the accusing finger and working, wicked words. This is the word of the Lord. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. According to Saint Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Chapter 6, verses 43 to 49. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. 
figs are not gathered from thorns nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush the good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good and the evil person out of evil treasure produces evil for it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks why do you call me lord lord and do not do what i tell you i will show you what someone is like who comes to me hears my words and acts on them that one is a like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock when a flood arose the river burst against that house but could not shake it because it had been well built but the one who hears and does not act is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation when the river burst against it immediately it fell and great was the ruin of that house the gospel of the lord Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I'm sure many of you still remember the recent floods in Hyderabad. All the houses which were we thought are very strong, very firm, have been flooded with the water that was supposed to be in the lake, and so much of damage had happened to our own friends around in the city. Today's readings remind us. of this important aspect of life that has to be planned and directed accordingly and the gospel today that we have chosen and to reflect upon has several teachings about a tree that bears good fruit and a good fruit will only bear good fruit but not bad ones so also all these teachings in in jewish tradition are like stringing beads like a rabbi when he teaches he will not stick on to one topic he goes on changing topics one after the other to keep the attention of the people but these little teachings one by one are a reminder or some of the essentials for our, for our life as such how important it is that we need to look into our lives if if at all as a group when you gather in a group what do we talk about sometimes you may end up gossiping okar gurinchi okar maatladukuntu untamu aame ela chesindi ine ela chestundu ime ela chestu undi ani itarula gurinchi mana vimarshistu untam we keep talking about others behavior so how do we know a person is so and so is a very good person is a gentle person is a kind person it is through the actions that we perform when we see a person very committed to its cause are this man this woman seems to be so hard working so committed and that's how when we uh, recall today as sisters have uh, presented that beautiful uh, history about the foundation about the founders uh, saint vincent de jerusa and uh, saint bartholomew capitanio bartholomew how their little efforts their uh, deep desire to do something for the people of god for the society their hard work their name continues to live today by the good deeds that they have produced and so the scripture today questions each one of us you and me what kind of life or what is the way of uh, behavior that i have today can someone approach me am i approachable is a question that we need to ask we are judged by our deeds i may be saying so many beautiful things oh you are doing so well sister you are doing so well my dear teacher or anyone but my actions are not corresponding to it someone rightly said i cannot hear what you say listening to what you are i cannot hear what you say listening to what you are which means 
I may be very proud, I may be talking so big about myself, I have done this, I have done this, Nene Dhani Jeshna, uh, giving credit to only my own self, whereas the entire team might have worked, the entire staff in one, uh, assigned for a particular task has worked, but I claim the credit, Nene Jeshna, I only have done this. No, I say one thing, I do something else, does not work, the, the genuineness of a person is seen through, Everyone knows if I am saying what I am not uh, living, people can easily identify. Teaching and preaching goes through, is known to by our own personality that we live. Mana mela jeevistu unnamo, mana pravartinche vidhanam batti, mana matlaadi di nijama kada ani telsko vachu. Are ne nu ni kijje shesta government office lo panunte na chalamani telsu ne nche shesta ani. Chalamani model and two untaru, and Valavala M Chata Gakapochu. So name Chepe Daniki, Chase Daniki, Elanti Potule in Apudu, Manamu, Dumbi Kulamga on the Potam, Oka Nijamaina, Nijaiti Gala Vectiga, Undalekapotu, Untamu, Alanti Nijaiti, Oka Genuineness, Anedi, Manolo Ravali. Everyone should consist of this genuineness in our way of living. This should be the order of our lives, is what the scripture teaches us. Madam Chala Chakka Gatiyaga Matladochu. Fine words does not equal to, uh, you know, good deeds as such. Neni Ali Pani Mugichesa and Cheptan Kani, and then Cheyan, postpon Chesu Untano. So, E. Martalu, Madam Chepe Martal Ekanundustu, and then Madam Gamanis say, from where does these words come? The word tells us, the good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good, and the evil person out of the evil treasure produces evil mana manasulo ye mundo ade matala roopamlo baitiki vastu undi what we have in our heart out of the abundance of the heart the treasures of what we have the words come out and this is very much applicable in our times that we are living in we are feeding our hearts and minds with so many information so much of information and nowadays everyone has access to whatsapp Sadanga, Irichala Mukhyanga Chayali and Yoka important news of Chestundi, Mana Mandarki shared Chestun Tamila, Anavasara Mina Vishalu Kuda, Mana Manasulo, Ochestu Untundi. Imagine if I bring the trash can from outside and start scattering here. Will it be nice? Manchigunda together. Similarly, our heart, if it is filled with all the filth that is around, if we go on, consume all that is evil, all that is negative, all that is divisive, we are going to say the same things. Manam manasulo emaite manamu nechkuntu namo, pade pade edete manam telskuntu namo, ave manam matala dwara baitiki vastu undi, itaralano dveshin che vidanga, itaralano asai inchkune vidanga matlaadtu, varani bada pedtu untam. We keep on hurting others by the treasures that are in our heart. We have learned this particular community is bad. Uh, someone would be telling this community is something bad. We are fill, filling our minds with prejudice. Whereas as human beings, we are all the same. The same flesh and blood is within us. But because someone has injected in our minds, this, is not, these, uh, this group is not good, don't associate with them, don't go to their house, keep them afar. All the such divisive thoughts can come into us. So, what are we filling our hearts with? What information are we letting in? Many of you might be going to church, mosque or temple. When you go there, you, you try to listen something good, your guru tells you, your malvi tells you, your priest tells you. All the good things do we capture in our hearts. Where our heart is, we speak about that only. Imagine if I ask the address for a young boy, where is that place? Oh, uh, that is just near to the theater. If I ask an elderly person, it is near the temple or church or someone else who is very much into uh, drinking or something, it is near that bar. So my mind is always working towards what I am filled with. We need to, uh, we need to be aware, just like the, the, the fruit that we are waiting for to eat, the sweet one, we should be aware of the roots of that fruit where it is being fed, where it is drawing its resources of learning of life as such. Am I filling my mind, my heart with all the negative thinking around the world, especially in the times that we are living now, we are flooded with false information, fake news. If you eat such and such thing, there will be no corona to you. 
if you drink such and such thing, there will be no coronavirus. Some are good. We need to filter it. We need to be aware and not spread unnecessarily the panic. Uh, the current situation uh, that we are living now is more than the knowledge of the disease we are into panicking people we are frightening people oh me kochesinda and the stigma that is attached to it perhaps uh, people are afraid to tell i am having covid or anybody is having covid because if the moment i say they may not come to talk to me they may not they may isolate me more than the disease the abandonment the isolation and the the way we treat people it hurts us so much there was one instance i have seen in a, in a locality that family did get the tenant was telling get out of that house you cannot stay here the entire street chased them out of that street just because they were tested positive so this shows what kind of a society that we are living in when we are feeding all kinds of unnecessary things instead they were they would have been kind towards them they would have treated them or helped them by putting in one corner and providing food so this is what the scripture today reveals to us if i have to bear good fruit in the society i have to nourish myself with good things uh, positive things there is plenty good happening we have seen how many social workers even among you some of you might have donated some food donated some dry ration to those affected by such uh, difficult situations during lockdown and so on we have seen so many good things have happened are we trying to perpetuate that good in the society or are we going to you living in a negative mindset bearing false fruits just like uh, the, the what else a battery bearing uh, bad fruit as such a battery can never bear good fruit that's the uh, entire thing that the scripture is revealing to us and then there is one more example that is given in this is he who builds the house on a rock that house will never be uh, disturbed by the floods uh, going a little more deeper into its context the author luke or matthew when they have written they are writing in the context of a place called palestine there the the, the land is very dry during summer even the lakes get dried up so people who want to settle down if they they think this is easiest way to build a house over here make a tent or whatever they will go and live in such shallow places but the drawback of that is within 6 months when winter comes in and the rains come all this entire houses will be washed away that is a geographical picture of this particular thing so what is the mind of this foolish person who builds a house on a not on a rocky ground but on a sand firstly the person was not interested to work hard if only the person was hard working he would go in search of a rocky place and build a house easy way today we are all in a society or in a in a technological advancement we want everything at the snap of a finger everything should happen easily no hard work to be in, uh, involved and that's how many a times people tend to become lazy and uh, ruin their own future their career as such so the secret of success in our life whether it is spiritual or in a society for a country to grow also hard work is the most important part of it if we take all shortcuts or easy ways to earn money or to uh, gain popularity we are going to end up like that house which will be washed away in floods and so the little work that is entrusted to me whether it is in the office or at home most of you are doing tremendous hard work in spite of all the odd circumstances but commitment of hard work to myself not because someone is seeing not because someone is coming and checking how clean you have kept all the surroundings some of you so are so keen to keep your houses clean and the surroundings clean and insist upon maintaining certain things so this is a secret for us to be always ahead and even in our spiritual life to spend that little time in prayer at home your family prayer or eating or sharing some good time with your family all these involves hard work you need to take effort make effort in making things happen and secondly this also tells about the foolish person who built the house on the sand he has no foresight akada illu nirmiste కొన్ని రోజులు వర్షం వచ్చేసి కొట్టుకొని పోతుంది అని తెలియకుండా ఆ దూర దృష్టి అంటాము ఫార్ సైడ్ నో ఫార్ సైడ్ వీఆర్ ఓన్లీ హ్యాపీ విత్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ నౌ 
ఈ రోజు నాకు సరిపోతే చాలు ఇంకా ఫ్యూచర్ గురించి ఆలోచించకుండా ఎంతో మంది వారి జీవితాలను ఆ సందర్భానికే ఆలోచిస్తూ ఉంటారు దూరదృష్టి అనేది చాలా అవసరం వి నీడ్ దట్ ఫార్ సైటెడ్నెస్ ఇన్ ఆర్ లైఫ్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఎసెన్షియల్ సో ఆల్సో ఫర్ ఆర్ స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్ వి ఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు ఓన్లీ స్టే హియర్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డై వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఫేస్ ద లైఫ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫర్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ వి నీడ్ టు లివ్ ఇన్ అ మ్యానర్ దట్ వీ కంటిన్యూ ఎ లెగసీ you know today we are we are talking about st vincent de jerosa and capitanio uh, bartolomeo that their they died so long and their legacy is continuing because what they foresaw that a community a group of people will always endeavor to help the community to the to help the people in education in healthcare and all other persisting needs that are coming up across each one of us should should think ahead of us not only for your children but also in general for our society uh, think of the number of times we dump our junk right in front of a house or somewhere wherever we like or think of the number of times we have not even bothered about the environment or pollution have i been instrumental in taking care of the environment because if i don't care, take care of the environment now what will be there ahead of us is already we are seeing 20 years ago we have heard that ozone layer was reducing and there will be so much of uh, damage happening to the earth and now we are witnessing all the calamities that are happening is because of the negligence in the past by the people by all of us for not taking care of the environment environment is very much part of us in fact most of our festivals are, tr- are trying to teach us about taking care of the earth when we celebrate harvest harvest festival when we go out to sow the seeds how closely we are knit to the nature but today we end up doing things which are against the nature against the climate and against the environment each of us are responsible to take care of these things and that's how today the the word is reminding us to have that foresight na na yokka future anedi ela undali anedi nen ippude nirnayinchali future chakkaga undalante ee roju nundi nenu aa paryavaranam gurinchi na kutumbam gurinchi samajam gurinchi manchi jaragalani aalochana tho manamu munduku vellali we need to be able to think ahead we need good ministers we need good leaders in the society but we cannot teach cheating in the schools in the colleges by teaching all these illegal ways now we cannot have good leaders ahead it's the responsibility collective responsibility of all of us how we are able to nurture such standards of you know far sightedness for the good of the society and for the good of the people let us ask the lord in this eucharistic celebration to grant us that we always strive to learn good things imbibe good things and be able to work hard for our own lives and for the society and be far sighted to be to build a society that is just and happy candles and stand our response we your so lord for we heavenly father we bring before you these candles which reminds us that your word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path so lord just as the word of the lord is a lamp and light to us we offer these candles with a desire that 
the fire of the flame will purify us from all selfish desires this is the prayer we ask your name amen response globe you can keep it here next globe compassionate and loving god you created the all created the world for us all to share a world of beauty and plenty we ask you to free our earth from this pandemic and and may we once again enjoy living as your loving children in freedom and love response water loving god as we offer this water we ask for your blessings on children mothers fathers and communities who are thirsty Pro purify protect and multiply their water sources strengthen their resolve so that they may fully enjoy the benefits of clean water essentials like education gardens of fresh produce and good health response Hear us, O Lord, for we call on your name. Flowers. O Lord, our God, make us of all things. Through your goodness, you have blessed us with their gift of flowers. With them, we offer our service to your service and dedication. With a prayer that all of our lives may be a beautiful of yours. respond here is the lord for we call on your name bread and wine o lord god in and with this gifts and bread and wine we offer you our daily work and as it ever will do transform the bread and wine into the blood and bread that of your son jesus christ so we ask you also to transform our work that it may better trans contribute our praise and glory amen response hear us the lord for we call on your name
Pray dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and of all His holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of St. Vincenzo, De Rosa and Capitanio Bartolomeo, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praise has had nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. fashion all your works in wisdom and in love to form man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care so that in serving you alone the creator he, may, he might have dominion over all creatures and when through disobedience he had lost your friendship you did not abandon him to the domain of death for you came in mercy to the aid of all so that those who seek might find you time and again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all that but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy to accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death and rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life and that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him who died and rose again for us he sent the Holy Spirit from you father as the first fruits for those who believe so that bringing to perfection his work in the world he might sanctify <coughs> creation to the full therefore O oh Lord we pray may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant for when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you father most holy having loved his own who were in the world he loved them to the end and while they were at supper he took bread blessed and broken and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bala, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the blessed <coughs> Virgin Mother of God and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. taught us to call God as our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We request only the Catholics to come forward and receive the Holy Communion. Thank you. spiritual communion.
my Jesus, I really need to your praise in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Consenso, De Rosa and Bartholomew, sanctify your minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Love your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints who have caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with an ending blessing. Freed through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. So that together with all you may possess the joys of the homeland, where Holy Church rejoices that our children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Being men's day today, we pray. We have prayed during this mass. We shall sing for them as we sing this hymn, small song. Father, please come. From. All the men can come and join you. I request all of you all to be seated. 
we have vote of thanks by vijay please settle down good afternoon everyone heartfelt gratitude and thanks to god almighty for making this day a memorable one on behalf of our fancy family i extend my heartfelt thanks to reverend father richard john the arch diocese youth director for readily accepting our invitation and celebrating a meaningful holy holy mass thank you for the teaching staff dearest colleagues students and parents joining us online for the time and participation and sincere thanks to our choir for their beautiful singing god bless all thank you Kindly rise. 